Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today I'm going to be showing you how to extend Oh My ZSH past what we did in the last video. So in the last video, if you recall, we installed Oh My ZSH, and here we are, right? We have some great features in it, things like uh, we don't have to have proper capitalization uh, for, <laughs> okay, for us to, uh, to, for it to autocomplete. So let's say we wanted to change directories into my documents. So if we type ls, you can see uh, documents is capital D, right? Uh, if you were to type in bash cd doc lowercase and try to hit tab, it wouldn't autocomplete. Uh, but luckily, we have the ability using, in fact, I hit tab like a thousand times there. Uh, using oh my zsh, we can type cd any lower any case of d and hit tab and it you'll see it's going to auto complete it for us and because we have a couple of these but there we go and that's just the tip of the iceberg right um for instance you know that if you hit up in command line you can see the last commands you ran whatever but let's say you're searching for a specific command. I'm searching for the last sudo command I ran, so I can type s and then hit up, and it looks like I haven't ran any recently. Uh, maybe the last time I ran uh, ls, or I guess that was the last command. Let's say the last time I ran cd, I could type c and then hit up, and it's going to find the last time I changed directory. So the history with oh my ZSH, ZSH is just excellent. The code completion is excellent. But what happens if we want to take it further? This is just the base theme that we have. And themes in oh my ZSH can do a whole lot, not to mention plugins. So let's get working changing some plugins or adding some plugins and changing some themes. Now it's super easy. All we need to do is edit a file. Now that file is in your user directory and that file is .zshrc. Now if we take this and we can open it in any text editor or you can open it in Vim or whatever, and I'm just gonna make this up here. You can see this is your oh my ZSH configuration. Actually, this is your ZSH configuration, but because we're using oh my ZSH, this is where that information is going to go. Now you'll see this line here. We have a theme and it's just a string and it says if you set it to random, it's going to load a new theme every single time you load uh, oh my ZSH. So let's even try that. I'm gonna paste this in here random. I'm gonna save it. Now I'm going to make a new tab. You could see it's a new theme. New tab, another theme. New tab, another theme. So this is a cool way to try them out. And the best part is up top here, it says what theme it's loading. Uh, so that way, if you like the theme, you can keep it. Now, oh my ZSH themes are not just color schemes. If you look at this previous tab that we had open, let's go to this one. There's all sorts of crazy information here. Now, this is not only telling us the time we made our our uh, our command, but the date and uh, th it's my computer here and S. Talinsky, blah, blah, blah. It's got a whole lot of information. And a lot of these will tell you what branch you're on in your GitHub repository. It'll tell you like what Ruby version you're using. It's just based on the theme itself. Now, I'm not going to go over in this video how to write your own themes, but there's plenty of documentation, uh, documentation on how to do that. And specifically, I would say just find a theme you like and check out its theme file and you can sort of piece together how to make one for yourself. Now, what happens if you want a theme, but you don't want to just set this to random and see what these all look like? Well, on the GitHub page, um, let's pull that up. You can see that all of the themes uh, that come with oh my ZSH are right here. And now, so if you look through these and find one you like, I personally like this one, this uh, Milo Shadzik. And I'm going to copy this and paste this in here. Save this. Now let's make a new tab. And you can see this uh, theme right here is pretty basic, but it's great because it'll tell you a lot of things about like your GitHub repo that you're currently working in. Cool, so that's how you change and add the themes. Come to the GitHub repo and check out what themes look good. Okay, so what about plugins, right? What do plugins do? Well, plugins can help you with auto completion and they can just really make your time easier uh, in 
um, in using oh my zsh here if you use these certain technologies it says which plugins would you like to load plugins can be found at the oh my zsh folder slash plugins and you can make custom plugins and put them in this custom plugins so it tells you here that all you need to do to add a plugin is to put it in between a space inside of these parentheses. Right now, the git plugin is the only one loaded. We can come in to our finder, and you'll see there's this hidden folder, this oh my CSH folder. If we open this up, we can then look into plugins and see there's a whole bunch of plugins in here. Now, I use things like Homebrew, so I could add Brew. There's a Bower plugin. Um, and you can see there's other plugins like Django and uh, I, there's tons and tons and tons of plugins here. Uh, OS X. Uh, so you can add a whole bunch of cool stuff in here. So for me, I use things like Node a lot or um, I believe there's a Mongo. Maybe not. No, looks like there's just a Node and NPM. Uh, but I can add those really easily just by adding them here and we can say Node npm and this will help with using those uh situations so oh my zsh is going to become aware of npm and it's not just going to be a command that you run so this is really great i can save this now let's go ahead and uh make a new tab to reload oh my zsh and now I don't have Node installed on this computer yet, so I can't show you what the Node plugin is actually doing, but I'll show you the Git plugin. I'm gonna type Git and then hit Tab, and it's asking do I wanna see some possibilities? Sure, but it's going to not only tell you um, you know, it's not only going to autocomplete directories and files, you can see that the options that it's giving me are actual Git commands. So like Git add, so for instance, if I were to type git a and then hit tab, it's going to show me the git commands that I can run, git add, aim, uh, am, I should say apply, arc import, archive. Uh, so this is pretty sweet. Um, I don't know, like, you know, if you're looking up a command, I'm sure you could just type git and get the, the help, you know, but um, being able to have this resource to have autocomplete to be aware of whatever technology you're using is pretty awesome. So paw through this plugins uh, directory or you can even just look on the repo either way uh, add some plugins just essentially throw in everything that you use and then sooner or later you're going to be in a situation when oh my zsh is going to do something for you and you're going to just be totally impressed and happy that you set this up so as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment in the video or hit us up at Level Up Tuts on uh, Twitter, Facebook, pretty much anywhere. Check out these Oh My ZSH plugins and themes. Trust me, you won't regret it. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.